we live here now, so it's kind of easy to forget about how Japanese people are like honest and nice. Every time I see dudes like Koji, it's a good reminder of like those things. Right. And yeah, because I remember like this one time I was going to the bathroom and he was in the hallway. It looked like he had been waiting for me and shit. So I was like, what is this? Because it's unusual. You know how people, Japanese people, you know, sometimes, you know, you open the door and somebody's coming out. You kind of like wait. Right. But he was just standing there. So I was like, oh, what's going on, man? And as I was passing him by, I looked at his face and dude, like his face, like Kaoiro, super, super wadi, like all sweating and shit too. And oh, damn. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, what's going on? You sick or something? And he goes, oh no, I am okay. Uh, can I consult with you something? So I was like, consult? Like, what do you mean consult? And he goes, today. This morning, I had a car accident. I hit fence. I'm like, accident? You okay? I looked like he was okay. I'm like, I mean, what fence? Like, what fence did you hit? Like, is your car okay? Everything seemed okay since he mm. came back home. And he said, I hit house fence. Oh, like this house? And he's like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I, I was outside earlier that mm -hmm. day and I'm like cleaning up but I didn't see any damage on the fence or anywhere so I was like oh okay I was gonna talk more but then I really had to go take a shit because I was going to the bathroom so I told him to go outside take a picture of the damage send it to me on my phone and then off he went and soon after I got a message I looked at my phone and clicked the picture I mean touch the picture and it was just a picture of a fence, a normal fence. So I was like, oh, like, you know, try to like find the damage and everything. Nothing was there. And I was like, yo, what is this? Supposed to be a before and after picture and you forgot to send like the, the second picture? picture. <laughs> <laughs> or is it like some kind of, you know, back in the days we used to have like find the hidden animals. So I was like, keep looking for it. I'm, I'm still in the bathroom at this time. So, okay, I took care of my business, came out, went to his room, knocked on the door. I'm like, Koji, I can't find the damage. Where is the damage? And he touched the, he tapped the picture and enlarged it. And, ah, uh, here, here, I hit here. And <laughs> this damage, man, <laughs> it was like the smallest chip or crack. I've ever uh, seen caused by a car. <laughs> it was like this small. <laughs> Super honest, man. He just, so he could have gotten dude. away with it. Exactly. I was he had to tell you dude. that. <laughs> His face still all worried. It's like, oh, I don't show type face. Right, right. I told him, man, this is okay. This is nothing. Don't, don't even worry about it. Then the next thing I saw his face coming back to life, just <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he was he was worried. It's like oh, I, I am really really sorry. I be more careful next time. I'm mean, yes, mother. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. And probably you know he you know, he went back to his room. Maybe he was like mad relieved and just like oh, oh you got that and just oh, passed out. And, oh. Slept for eight hours. Yo, that dude snores super hard, man. Oh, we, yeah? Yeah, we have two doors, right? His room door and my door. Mm -hmm. I hear him snoring all the time. Super loud. I'm pretty Damn, sure my cats and my dogs are like, ah, what is this, dude? <laughs> <laughs> is he, like, super exhausted? Yeah. Because he, he yeah. works a lot, right? Yeah. Because, dude, yeah. He, he leaves at 5.30 in the morning. Oh snap! Yeah, it, he used to work in. I uh, still works at a you know the central kitchen, so mm -hmm. he has to get get up early. So this was in the morning at five thirty. He hit the wait, fence. Wait, he told you this about the fence at five thirty in the. Oh, it happened at five thirty yeah. in the morning. But all then right, you know, right. by the time I heard it, it was like what six p.m. or something like right. that. So he came back after I came back to our room, I just felt bad 
just by imagining how his day was, right? It's just, just stressing really hard. <laughs> yeah, man, freaking yeah. out all day long. This happened in the morning. So all day long, this dude was probably like, oh, oh my God, Doshio, uh, how do I tell him? When do I tell him? Uh, uh, am I getting kicked out of the house? Should oh, I go man. back to Japan? <laughs> like, Nihon no minna san go, man. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, now he sounds like he's really worried. Yeah, and yeah, man. Again, but then it looked like he was waiting outside for me. He didn't even text right. me. Probably no, he was he just was... waiting outside, like, oh, just uh, just going back and forth. He was, yeah, he was yeah. thinking about his strategy. How is he going to break the news to <laughs> exactly. you? Exactly. About this little, this little crack. Yeah, this little, man, uh... again, man, like, because my time in Japan and the people I used to do shit with, mm-hmm. Again, man, it's really easy to forget how nice and honest most Japanese people are. Right. But again, like, whenever shit like this happened, man, it's always a good reminder of how people are honest and pretty sincere in right. that regard. Even yeah. for small like that, it's like the smallest crack ever. And yeah, he could have just gotten away just by not telling me. Nobody would have known anything. We were like, oh, just fine. Right. Well, he uh, wasn't sure. He didn't know how yeah. well you knew your friends. He's like, oh, man, he might, he might be able to. These are the kinds of difference. They will know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, after a long day of just like, oh, 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 he decided to tell me honestly. And I do, I, I did and do appreciate his honesty. Really. Right. I mean, even for small stuff like that. You know how some people say, like Japanese people are two-faced and all that politeness is just for the media and it's all fake. Mm-hmm. And every time I hear that, I'm like, man, shut the f- up. You don't know. Like, I, I tell them straight up, it's it's called being an accountable adult, right? Right. And yeah. Japanese, are peop- Japanese people are super accountable and responsible. Like most of them, right. at least. And yeah. yeah, of course, there are many piece of shit dudes like everywhere <laughs> creeps and like weirdos in japan <laughs> i mean there will be a lot of stories about those <laughs> in the future but <laughs> yeah you can find weirdos anywhere anywhere you go yeah. you're gonna find the weirdos you, you'll find the the people who have accountability mm. uh yeah it just depends on the person yeah i gotta say just there's there's people that do adhere to social norms in japan mm. so They'll definitely there's certain things that it's just completely unacceptable not mm. to do yeah. whether you agree with them or not you yeah. you know you have to do them mm. but i will say it, at least in my experience i've i've talked to people i've i've seen them and looked in their face while they're telling me stuff mm. and i knew full well they didn't mean <laughs> it they just said it because they had to say it yeah. so it's just it, you know it just mm. depends on the person yeah like because mm. like this one thing i remember being told mm. is like you know, you Westerners never apologize for anything. Mm. And I was like, well, you know, you're generalizing, but mm. okay, compared to, to you guys, oh, yeah, yeah, I agree with you, no. <laughs> because in Japan, you got to apologize for everything mm. constantly, mm. all the time. It's just part mm. of how you do things. Like, mm. you'll, you'll apologize for, you know, disturbing someone before you give them some news that you have to give them no matter what. Mm. So or just it's simply just like, passing by. Yeah, or same thing, you know. Like five hand. feet away, still like I see my thing, and just right. I'm like, oh man, we're not even close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but mean, you know, I don't know. I guess for me personally, mm. and I mean, uh, that was one thing that I think is is kind of stressful and tiring about living in Japanese society is the mm. the need to apologize for everything constantly, mm. and I think, you know, some people just just do it because they have to do it they don't mm. they don't believe it they don't mm. think it and as a matter of fact it doesn't matter if you believe it or not mm. there's a moment when you have to apologize too. and you must do mm. it so mm. even if you're not sincere in your apology mm. just apologize yeah now to me i might be a westerner or it might just mm. be me as a person but mm. if you don't mean it mm. your apology doesn't mean to me exactly <laughs> like it's yeah. just I, I'd, I'd much rather have honesty mm. which was always hard for me too when i had to apologize i kind of have to feel like 
super super sorry and i really have to mean it to say sorry right but a lot of my japanese friends or you know the label people they're like daka daka like toriaize ayamare right like you don't have to mean it but you know everybody's doing it toriaize just say sorry so right. like many times i was like simasen deshita simasen deshita and inside like, of my head, I'm, I'm like, like i'm going to kill you like simimasen <laughs> deshita <laughs> I really mean it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and probably they knew it too, like you said. They're like, oh, right. this mother. Okay, these guys, yeah, but who is this dude? Like saying, like, see my saying. So yeah. I'm pretty sure they all knew it. But yeah, man, it's it's just. Yeah, it was hard for me to do that stuff. Like, honestly, even like, yo, like in my late 20s. Mm hmm. I should have known better but still you know i'm just like uh just being a little i guess like americanized asian right and like ah okay it's okay they don't they're not going to care i mean stuff like the fence man i was just like oh this is fine right but then look at koji man he always well, reminds me koji of is... deshota <laughs> <laughs> well what's the word it's uh junsui Mm. Right, like yeah. you're just very Jesus. like na naturally honest mm. and and you know, uh, I mean that I, that I appreciate, but that's that's just honestly like who he is. I think he mm. felt really bad, as as minimal as the damage might have been to you to him, yeah. it wasn't there before he did it's, it. So yeah, he was it like, was it was like yeah. the whole fence or the whole house <laughs> to him. So yeah, man. Yeah. So so Koji, if you're watching this. Come fix the fucking fence, son. <laughs> uh, did I tell you Koji moved out? Oh, word. Yeah. Did he go? Did he move to Nevada? Yeah. Uh, I messaged him a few days ago, and he was like, "Ah, oh, Daksan, thank you for checking me. I am having a good time in Las Vegas." I'm like, uh -huh. okay, man. Can I can I text you when I go to California? I'm like, yeah, man, anytime. Say, so, oh, thank you. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs>